So now we're going to balance this rotor. Uh, I made uh, sort of a balancing jig here. Show you the details in a sec. Okay, over here there's a small little bearing. I got it from a hobby store. Very tiny little guy. It has a flange on it. Use them in RC cars. Okay, now you can see the two support beams to the left and right with the small bearings, and that's going to support the rotor on it as it spins so we can balance it while it's horizontal. And the left side of the shaft, the long end, I have a, uh, a hub with a uh, plate I put on it with a 5 16 hole on the end. And here's the hub with the uh, small plate with the 5 16 hole on the right side of the shaft. Okay, so now you take the rotor, put it in over here for that bearing, slide this over. There it is, ready to, ready to balance. Balance this, it's good to get some lead from somewhere. I get uh, from an auto parts store some of these conversion posts, they call them, for their battery terminals. They're solid lead. Here's one out of the package. And so I cut these into quarters lengthwise and pound them into rods. Uh, it's really easy to pound it because it's lead. Then simply like right now it's settling right down here. So you put, you counterweight it with a lead weight up here at the top. And that's basically all you have to do, just keep doing that. Uh, I, what I do is take some masking tape and temporarily put the lead weights on until it starts to get pretty good and then I uh, uh, drill holes through here and epoxy them in place and I'll show you that here in a bit okay with a hacksaw uh, I cut up one of those uh, battery conversion posts into eight small rough pieces now I'm going to pound them into some rod rods uh, to be able to glue them into the rotor after I drill holes. Okay, I pounded these into uh, shape so I can just uh, drill a hole in the rotor and glue them in. Okay, here's what you do. Basically what you got to do is, uh, right now I know that this is uh, settling like this, take one of these, put it straight up, see if that counteracts where it stops. Yeah, I, that's not enough weight. So I'll put another one over here, straight up. a little better. See it pulls back and it's going to probably settle in the same place again. You have to put these in between where the magnets are obviously. So I'll put another one over here. Now I bet you this will be pretty close. Those are pretty large size uh, pieces of lead. See now it has changed where it settles now. It used to settle right here 
now it wants to settle over here a bit so we're getting much closer now to having this balance so I'll put a smaller size one right up here see how that does That's really close, except, except it still wants to pull back just a little bit when it comes around. See, there's that rocking. We don't want that rocking to be happening. Okay, now, I'd say a small size one directly above here this might be really close okay probably getting the idea I'm gonna uh, fool with this for a while and uh, get it as good as I can and then drill the holes.